This problem uses Faraday's law to calculate the induced EMF into coil. So Faraday's law states that the EMF is negative n d phi dt, where phi is the magnetic flux, n is the number of turns, in our case 500. The expression for flux is the integral of b dot dA. Now the only time you have to integrate that is when b is non-uniform in space. And so in this case it says it's a uniform magnetic field and it varies in time, not in space. So we don't have to integrate and the flux can just be calculated by dotting the magnetic field with the area vector. Flux is a scalar quantity so this can also be written magnitude of magnetic field, magnitude of the area of the loop, cosine of the angle between the area vector and the loop. So the angle between the area vector and the loop. Remember that the plane of the loop is perpendicular to the area vector. And so the angle between the magnetic field and the plane of the loop is what we're given, 30 degrees. But in fact, theta for our problem, which is between A and B, would be 60 degrees. Okay, so now we can put that flux expression into the expression for EML. The negative n d by dt of b times a times cos theta. Now everything that does not depend on time can come out of that derivative, and so the area doesn't depend on time, the angle doesn't depend on time, and the only thing that depends on time is the magnetic field. So we have to take the derivative of the magnetic field with respect to time to get the EMF. So the derivative of b would be d by dt of 4t squared plus 4t cubed. That's the magnetic field, which just gives us negative n a cos theta 8t plus 12t squared. And if we were to put our numbers in, we would have 500 for n, 1.2 square meters for the area, cos of 60, and then 8t plus 12t squared. Now if you wanted to know the induced EMF in any instant in time, you would simply sub in the time that you were asked for.